We are now coming into the Siberian Altai. Somewhere among these ice-capped peaks and wide valleys live the Kazakhs, the nomadic herders that we have come so far to meet. The asphalt roads we are used to are ending. The land where these nomads live is unfenced, open land, wild and untamed. One of the bolts has completely snapped off inside, the other one's just gone. I'm not sure this dude's telling me it's going to take 12 days to yeah. fix or he's charging me 12 rubles a minute or he's, he needs 12 vodkas before he carries on. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make me a list of uh, broken things? Give you a list of things that, that aren't broken. It's much quicker. <laughs> Many holes is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another one up there, seven. This is where our wheel burst the uh, day before yesterday. Getting as far as we could with the truck, it was time to pack up and go on by foot. It's Siberian summer now, many wild and rare flowers growing along the river that flows from icy peaks. For the other nine months of the year this valley is under snow and ice, temperatures dropping to minus 40. As beautiful as we find it, we wondered how it could be home to people too. We walked probably about 25 kilometers. More. More, yeah. Five thousand. All day we looked for the nomads and there was lots of poo from different animals. are completely self-sufficient, there are no shops around the corner to go and buy your milk from. finding the nomads, it's the nomads who find us. We were on their land, we felt they could see us even though we didn't see any sign of them. Until one morning, when two small boys on a horse appeared and guided us to their family. I'm not 
ีย